Hey Tribers, this is Chris Kroger here and I am getting ready to go on a trip. Yep, that's right. I heard you can do winter catfishing. I've never done it. Never fished for catfish. So in getting ready for this trip, I actually did a, you know, some research online and I was looking for homemade catfish bait recipes. Um, you know, homemade catfish bait offers a cheap solution uh, to just, you know, take advantage of the stuff you already have. No sense in going out and buying some other things, especially if it works. So I wanted to go over the top 12 uh, homemade catfish bait recipes that I was able to dig up. And, you know, if you like them, awesome. If you have used them before, leave a, you know, a note in the comments box. Uh, let me know how it worked out for you or if you have your own favorite leave your favorite in the comments box, too And let's make this uh, you know an epic uh, the ultimate homemade catfish bait uh, Resource for everybody um, by pulling everything that we have together and uh, and and seeing what we can come up with so Okay, so without further ado, let's check it out First one, number one is called the Father's Recipe. Got this off of a website. This is, you know, it's your livers. You're using livers. Either chicken, deer, cow, whatever you have. I don't know why you would have livers, but okay. You know, I've eaten them before, but bleh. But if you have some of those, go ahead and uh, add that to flour, garlic, sardines and sardine oil, uh, strawberry jello, and an egg. And you should blend the liver until it becomes a, a liquid and then empty it into a clean plastic peanut butter jar and add the remaining ingredients. Stir well until it's thick and then cover it up. Do not open it indoors. I, from my understanding, the smell is horrendous. Uh, you should allow the bait to sit for at least 48 hours. Um, but remember, the raw the better. So 48 hours, then go and use it. This is not something you can keep in store. I'm sure you could try it. Uh, the author says you'll, you'll reduce some of the effectiveness of it. So it's up to you. Second is catfish melange. So you want to melt a pound of cheese chop up some liver add that to it and then uh, add garlic powder uh, some wet dog food and some minnows and some flour mix that up in a blender or food processor and put that at the put a bit of that on the end of your hook and go to town next one i found was the catfish stink bait recipe not really into stink baits but hey if it works it works right so this one is a uh, two cans of tuna Two cans of sardines, chicken livers, two boxes of stuffing, and a stuffing bread. So you're going to mix the tuna, sardines, and chicken livers in a container. Seal that and set it outside for a week and let it rot, I guess. And then remember to place it in a secure place where, you know, the animals or raccoons or whatever can't get to it. And then keeping it outside, mix it in the stuffing mix and the bread until... A thick dough consistency is reached. Remember, keep some gloves with you. You don't want the stuff staying on your hands. And wear some clothes that you you know you don't mind throwing away if you spill it on yourself. And then be sure to use a utensil that you never need again either. And then or a stick to stir it. Uh, number four is the Cajun catfish bait. This is rotten minnows. Some other stuff. You mix it together in a bowl. You add some flour to it, and then it's a dough. And you put it on a treble hook and then drop it in until you go. So because it's a dough, you could probably actually make this in advance and keep this in like your freezer or, or whatever uh, for later if you, you wanted to. Kind of the same thing with this live one. There's a lot of people, you know, the author says, you know, there's some people who have issues with using lye. You, obviously, you're going to need some gloves when you make this. Um, but it still, it still works according to the author. And this is lye combined with lard and water. Mix it up, put it in some ice cube trays, and let it set for three days. And then you'll be able to slide the, the uh, cubes onto your hook and fish like that. So pretty cool idea. You like you see all the full recipes on the website, uh, clicking the link, and you can check that out. Or you can even get the slides that I'm showing here as well to, and print them out or whatever. Uh, old man liver. This one obviously <laughs> is liver. Some cornflakes, some garlic powder, some cheese, molasses, and sugar. Mix that all up together. Add some flour so it'll stay on the hook. You know, more flour probably the better to keep the consistency of it, but not too much. You don't want to dry it out completely. Uh, and you can also save this one too. So throw it in the make it some extra. 
then for this trip and the next trip just throw the extra stuff in the freezer and you're good to go uh, you can do the same thing with Wheaties and hamburger uh, cheese garlic and cooking oil and water combine all those ingredients in a large bowl and slowly add the water until it's a dough and then use that dough again you can put this in the freezer chicken and beer I don't know about wasting my beer I guess if I have an old can sitting out in the Sun whatever I'll be good but cornmeal flour oatmeal minnows corn syrup chicken livers shrimp cat food whatever you got handy and a container to hold everything mix that all together like till it's like peanut butter and then seal that and let it sit for two or three weeks outside and then if it thickens up too much uh, to use you can actually spray wd-40 according to the author and it still works so that's pretty cool uh, if you try that one let me know uh, liver loaf catfish bait chicken livers loaf of bread some dark molasses mix that all together and then you know let it let it go to town just push it together with your hands until they're all combined in formidable consistency so basically just keep mashing until you can use it um, properly with your hooks uh, clean catfish bait this one you'll need uh, some <laughs> ivory soap uh, some sugar water and some ice trays you mix the water and the sugar together until the uh, sugar is dissolved then you scrape some shavings off of the soap bar and put that in with the water until the soap's melted and then you use a spoon to fill the ice trays with the soap uh, sweet mixture the ice trays let those cool for a little bit just till the soap starts to solidify but don't let it get too hot or too hard or it'll break when you're trying to manipulate it Remove the cubes and cut them into smaller bite, bait sized pieces, but don't, again, don't let them get hard or else it'll be uh, hard, impossible to cut, to cut these up. And then place a cube into a, like, a tight container, and when you're ready, you put them on your hooks and fish. Let's see what else we have. Uh, meat and cheese bait. This is uh, uncooked meat, some Velveeta cheese, and a teaspoon of garlic and some flour. Make that into a ball, put that on your hook, and you're good to go. Again, this is one you can put in the freezer. And last but not least is some cream corn, uh, homemade fish bait, I mean, cream, can of cream corn, some leftover grease, some cornmeal, a cup of oats for the consistency, and the corn starts to help it together. So you mix the cream corn and the grease, you heat it till it's warm and the grease melts, then you put in the dry ingredients, Pour the corn and grease mixture into the dry ingredients. Mix that together and make your bowls. Again, this is another good one that you can put into uh, your freezer as well. So, like I said, hopefully one of these 12 will help you catch a nice catfish. Hopefully they'll help me catch one. If you have any other recipes or if you've tried these recipes, leave a comment uh, down below. We'd love to hear from you. Hey.